Christmas has passed, but I am doing some scrapbooking. And today I want to show you a quick little page and also show you how I stitch on scrapbook layouts. So here I have a five by seven picture. I've got some little bits and pieces, some strips of paper, nothing technique wise here, just different sizes of strips. The one thing I will point out to you is you see how the widest strip is of pattern papers where my dogs are. That's for focal point reasons. Other than that, you do what you like and you kind of sort out what you want before you go to stitch. You do all of this first and then remove everything that doesn't need to be on there. That's, I don't stitch first. I, st I get my stitching done before I put everything else on. So for the sewing machine, depending on your machine, really, you're just gonna want a nice long stitch. You're not gonna want a teeny tiny stitch because what you'll do is literally just punch a hole like just punch a channel through the paper. So a longer stitch is gonna be better for paper. That's the only thing I do. You can use a separate needle. I don't sew on paper a ton these days. So it, once in a while, putting a page in my machine has not harmed my needle or degraded my quality of sewing at all. So once you put it in there, guys, you just put it in there and go like you would normally, like you would normally sew anything. There's really nothing special to it. The one thing I do though, when I'm all the way done, I do put a little bit of PPA adhesive on the back side where the stitching starts and stops just to ensure it's sealed and none of the threads will come undone. So that really is it. As you can see, I went around twice and this one I did kind of a sloppy stitch around there twice. Just kind of a fun accent. And I did it in a dark, dark green to add contrast. Generally speaking with my stitching, I like to do a contrast. I like to have it add a texture and a color element to my page. Now I went all the way around, but sometimes I will just go across one element or over one corner or something like that. There's no right or wrong here. Really, you're just doing what does the page call for? And in this case, as I was setting up my page, I thought, oh, stitching would be great. So I added it. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, you could just be doing this by hand needle and thread and run it on through. If you're gonna do that though, embroidery thread much thicker and it gives a better bang for your buck, so to speak, as you do that. So what I've been doing here, I'm just you're just seeing me add embellishments. There's no real special technique here other than I'm trying to keep things organized. As I call my style, carefully organized chaos, you'll notice that yes, there's stuff all over, but not really. Things are tucked in along the side of the photo. I'm using some stickers. I've got some alphabet stickers. I've got my little different, different paper bits. And these, by the way, the dog themed stickers and papers are from a specific line. I'll put a link down in the YouTube video because I can't think of the, I can't think of the brand right now, but I'll, I'll pull it up and uh, I want to say it's photo play, uh, but I'll, I'll just pull it up and put it in the YouTube description. But how do you know when you're done with a page like this? Well, when it feels like you're done, when you don't want to add any more is when you're done. And in this case, I just kept kind of adding little bits and pieces and it came to me to add a little bit of glue. And then again, that's PPA by US Art Quest. I'll put a link below in the YouTube description and then just different sequins and little bits and pieces. I love to do this with stitching lines, especially when I'm going around the outside. I just find that it's kind of fun to add even more texture you could add some Nouveau drops, you could add some stickles, whatever you've got. I'm just gonna add a little bit of green and red just to add a little more contrast. This really does become personal preference. And Christmas layouts, I like to go a little bigger. I like to do a little more because I just think it's fun. And you'll notice there's no journaling on this page. I really don't need journaling on this one. This is just kind of a fun intro page with the puppy dogs. And it was all about the creative fun, all about the creative details. So if you have stitching questions for scrapbooking, feel free to leave me a comment, shoot me an email, happy to help. Hope you've enjoyed this little scrapbook tutorial.